Okay, so now in subtraction of uh, fractions, so for example, 4, 4 over 7 minus 6 over 7. So katulad ng kanina, we have the similar fractions. So katulad lang ng ginawa natin in addition of fraction or addition of similar fractions, just copy the denominator. So kapag magkatulad lang ang denominator, just copy the denominator and perform the operation in numerator. So, copy the denominator and 4 minus 6. It is 4 minus 6. So, 4 minus 6 is equal to negative 2 over 7. So, bakit po negative 2? Bakit hindi positive 2? Okay? So, 4 minus 6. Ang, ang 4 po or ang positive is lagi nating isipin na ang positive ay yung pera. Yung negative, yung utang. Okay, again, lagi nating isipin na ang positive ay yung pera, negative ay utang. So, kung may pera ka na 4 at kung may utang kang 6 at binayaran mo yon, meron ka pa rin natirang utang na 2. Okay? So, kaya po tayo merong negative 2. Okay, so again, kung meron kang perang 4 at meron kang utang na 6, at binayad na yung 4 ng yun, meron ka pa rin natirang utang na 2. Okay, so that is 4 minus 6 over 7 is equal to negative 2 over 7. Okay, so another example. x over 3 minus x squared plus 2 over 3. So, similar fractions pa rin po. Since magkatulad naman siya ng denominator, just copy the denominator which is 3. The next, perform the operations in the operation in the numerator. So, we have x, then copy the operation, which is subtraction, then the next, the, the numerator of the second um, term is x squared plus 2. Okay? So, yung second term kasi natin is two terms then. So, binomial and subtraction po yung operation natin. So, kapag ganito, huwag kalimutan na maglagay ng parenthesis. So, bakit? Ang sinusubtract kasi natin is yung buong to. Okay? Again, ang isusubtract natin is yung buo. Kapag hindi mo kasi yan nilagyan ng parenthesis, ibig sabihin, ang sinusubtract mo lang is yung x squared. Okay, so next, tanggalin ang parenthesis. So, again, we have a rule na kapag tinatanggal natin ang parenthesis at meron tayong negative sign sa labas nito, yung positive magiging negative and yung negative is magiging positive or just take the opposite sign of uh, those terms na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, x minus x squared, then this positive will become negative 2 over 3. Okay, so arrange natin siya from highest degree to lowest degree. So, this is negative x squared plus x then minus 2 over 3. Okay? So, kung ano yung sign niya, kapag nilipat mo, is ganun pa rin. So, negative x squared dito, kapag inarrange mo na siya, negative x squared pa rin. Kung positive x dito, plus x pa rin. Okay, so again, in subtracting um, similar fractions, just copy the denominator and perform the operation in the numerator. At kapag meron akong um, uh, positive and negative, positive is yung pera mo, negative is yung utang. So, laging ganun. Okay, so another example is x over x minus 7, then minus 3. So, this is already uh, dissimilar fractions since magkaiba naman ang denominator nila. So, we have x minus 7 and 1 as the denominator of 3. Okay, so again, in subtracting dissimilar fraction, you need to uh, find the LCD. And the LCD is x minus 7. Okay? So, again guys, ganito kapag ang given natin 
ay iisa lang ang fraction at yung isa is whole number, automatic, yung denominator ng isang fraction na yun, yun na yung pinaka LCD na. Okay? So, LCD which is x minus 7 divided by the denominator which is x minus 7 is equal to 1. Then, multiply by the numerator which is x. So, 1 multiplied by x is x. Then, copy the operation which is subtraction. x minus 7 divided by 1 is x minus 7 multiplied by 3. So, we have 3 multiplied by x minus 7. Okay, so that is equal to, okay, so anything ko lang ha, x minus 7 divided by 1 is x minus 7 multiplied by 3. Okay, so next is x minus this 3, okay, didistribute ko dito sa loob ng, uh, nasa parentheses. So, meron ako negative, so this negative will become positive since meron ako negative sa labas ng parentheses. So, 3 multiplied by x, or negative 3 multiplied by x is negative, negative 3x. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 7 is positive 21. Okay, so over x minus 7. Okay, so that is equal to combining like terms, x minus 3x. So, again, Positive, yun yung pera mo. Negative, yun yung utang. So, that is negative, uh, x minus 3x or positive 1x minus 3x is negative 2x. So, plus 21 over x minus 7. Okay, so again, x minus 3x is negative 2x. So, meron kang perang isang x at meron kang utang na tatlong x. So, meron ka pa rin natitirang utang na dalawang x. So, that's why we have negative 2x plus 21 over x minus 7. Okay? So, wala na akong pwedeng isimplify. Therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? So, paano naman kung paano kapag uh, butterfly method yung ginamit ko? Okay, so given the same um, example, so we have x over x minus 7 minus 3. Okay, so that is equal to, so x over x minus 7 minus 3. So, magagamitin ko is butterfly method. So again, in butterfly method, you need to multiply the denominator. Okay, so x minus 7 multiply by 1. So that is x minus 7. So x multiply by 1. Yung numerator nito, multiply sa denominator nito, which is x. Then copy the operation, which is subtraction. Okay, so next, itong denominator na to, multiply sa numerator nitong second term. So, we have 3 multiplied by x minus 7. Okay, so again, distribute natin to. So, we have x minus, distribute natin si 3. Si negative 3 sa lahat ng term na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, negative 3 multiplied by x is negative 3x. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 7 is positive 21 over x minus 7. Okay, so again, combining like terms. So that is, x minus uh, 3x is negative 2x plus 21 over x minus 7. So wala na akong pwedeng um, i-combine. Wala na akong pwedeng i-simplify. Therefore, this is the final answer. So kung mapapansin nyo, kahit anong ginamit ko, na way, kumuha ko na LCD, ang nakuha kong sagot is negative 2x plus 21 over x minus 7. Ang ginamit ko is butterfly method, pero nag-come up pa rin ako sa same answer. Okay, so again, kahit ano ang gamitin nyo is magkag magiging magkatulad lang po yung sagot niyan.